Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Research That Matters. I am Dr. Chris Freitag with Lavaca County Chiropractic in Hallettsville, Texas. And this is our weekly post about what the science and what the research says about topics that matter to you. And today's topic is the top causes of sciatica revealed. Here's something that might surprise you as you learn about the top causes of sciatica. Sciatica is not a condition, disorder, or diagnosis in and of itself. Sciatica pain can be described as dull, achy, sharp, or shooting pain in the lower back and hip, buttock, and leg on one side of the body. Some people may also experience burning, numbness, or tingling sensations. When someone says they have sciatica, what they really have is a very specific set of symptoms hinting at an underlying condition causing the sciatica. Many of our sciatica patients often comment that they don't know how they hurt their back, and that actually makes sense. So what is the underlying condition 99.9% .9 of the time? Most of the top causes of sciatica are linked to the irritation, compression, or impingement of a sciatica nerve. How do we know this? When a nerve is compressed or irritated, be it from a herniated spinal disc, bone spur, or ligament overgrowth, it can become inflamed and painful. Some of these causes, such as bone spur or ligament overgrowth, aren't due to a recent injury. Not all of the top causes of sciatica are injury-driven in the traditional sense. Natural changes that occur as we age, the pressure of gravity, and even stenosis, the narrowing of the spinal column, can all contribute to the development of compressed or pinched nerves and sciatica pain. The two sciatic nerves, or more specifically the nerve bundles, are the longest nerves in the body. And for that reason, there are lots of opportunities for either one to become irritated. These are the major nerves to your legs, and they provide the sensation and motor fibers that allow you to stand up, walk, and run. Think of your nerves like small, high-powered electrical lines. They transmit signals from the power station, your central nervous system, and then out to the muscles, organs, and cells in your body. The electrical lines or nerves in your low back travel down your hips, buttocks, and legs to your feet and your toes. If the nerve is irritated at the power station, it will affect everything along the path of that line. That's why a spinal disc irritating a nerve in your low back can result in pain down into your leg. Sciatica pain can occur at any point along the course of either sciatic nerve, depending on where the irritation ex exits, exists, excuse me, and it can then radiate from there. It's possible to experience sciatica sy symptoms without low back pain. It's also possible that the pain in your leg isn't related to an impingement of its sciatic nerve. That's why it's so important to seek sciatica treatment from a healthcare professional who not only has an in-depth understanding of the top causes of sciatica pain, but of pain in the lower extremities as well. Just like your local power company needs to perform maintenance on their equipment, you should also perform periodic maintenance on your body. Many people just don't know that many of the top causes of sciatica pain can often be resolved without the need for surgery, spinal injections, or pain medications prescribed by an MD. Staying active with daily exercise, stretching, and periodic chiropractic care can help prevent issues in your low back. Chiropractic care is an ideal treatment for sciatica pain because it can directly address the root cause of that pain. In fact, one recent study, in one recent study, researchers observed that over 90% of patients with symptomatic sciatica reported being much better or better after receiving chiropractic care. Over 90% of patients with sciatica reported improvement after receiving chiropractic care. Periodic chiropractic care has the potential to increase your flexibility and range of motion, 
help keep your spinal discs healthy, and it could prevent future episodes of back pain and the development of the top causes of sciatica. In our practice, we utilize various treatments, including adjustments to correct spinal conditions such as herniated discs, as well as joint restrictions related to scar tissue and muscle spasms to help relieve your sciatica pain and prevent it from recurring. If you're considering booking your first appointment with a chiropractor, know that you don't need a referral to see a chiropractor in most instances. Simply pick up the phone and send us a message to get st- or send us a message to get started. A little maintenance today can go a long way towards a healthier tomorrow and we are here to help. So thank you for joining me for your latest episode of Research That Matters. Again, I'm Dr. Chris Freitag with Lavaca County Chiropractic in Hallettsville, Texas. Have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm.